hello so tonight it's going to be cold uh, there is frost warning uh, yes it this is may um, but still uh, we are getting frost tonight so it's around it's going to be around 32 to 30 uh, five degrees so that will form is frost on the uh, leaves or the you know the plants so which will damage the uh, tender vegetation so i'll have to cover these plants right now so to so i can save them otherwise what will happen is all the leaves will get damaged and some of the plants even the roots will get damaged and they will die off some of them based on my experience uh, from last year tomato plants uh, one or two plants died but few of them uh, leaves only leaves were lost but the leaves came back again so i uh, really want to save most of my plants today so i have put some radish plants here and there are some uh, leafy vegetables and uh, cabbage and some beans corn over there so i'm going to cover it up with the the cover i have like a plastic uh, sheet uh, to see my luck tomorrow and there are other plants over there on that bed and there are all over the place i just planted them without uh, knowing that there would be a frost in may so what i'm going to do is just cover up each and every plant with some containers and some bags and whatever i can i feel like and even in the front yard for the flowering plants i'm going to cover few of them so um, some of them will come back but i don't want them to you know take time again to get the leaves and then flowers will be late right uh, late in the season so i want them to stay as is so i'll try my luck um, let's see what will happen i'll check back again tomorrow um, to see if they are fine they are doing fine uh, we will know the next day itself how the leaves are have turned out um, so last two weeks back my grape plant uh, it lost all the leaves it just started getting the leaves and buds and then it's just all the leaves died off on a frost day um, so now again it is getting some leaves i'll show you i'm going to cover it cover that this time i'm not going to make that mistake now so let's start this is what i have this bag i didn't buy it anywhere so we whatever packages we get right if i think we we bought uh, some furniture so that that came with this packaging and i didn't throw it away i saved this for uh, this purpose to use some rocks to keep it in place so we have these spikes we used uh, the stakes we used to fit the bed on in the ground so and uh, we, I made a hole in the back here so I can do just this so it won't fly out it will just stay out there so the only main thing do is the frost or the mist should not fall on the plant so the bag will be good enough it's not going to be that cold or it's not going to snow it's just going to be like a, f a refrigerator temperature so i think they should be they should be fine so here's how i covered it put stones to keep it in place this is not a professional way of doing it but this is my way it works for me there are a few things that I have done here. So I had a lot of, uh, you know, the, the yogurt boxes that I have uh, that I saved. I usually use it for potting or compost. So this is useful now like this. So the compost, we use the compost bags or the soil bags. I usually put a hole on top and then uh, <coughs> if it has a stick or something, I'll just go uh, pass it through the stick and then I cover this is the tomato plant I covered <coughs> it is already turning yellow because it's kind of cold <coughs> so this is how I cover the tomato plants with the bags that I have soil bags 
spinach boxes that you get from the grocery stores so i use that as well and i put stone on top of it so it won't fly away with the wind and that's more more there so this is the next day almost uh, afternoon i uh, almost in the noon so you can see that the uh, the plants have turned a little brown but they are all fine they're doing fine this is a okra plant it's doing fine see the mist inside the green pepper it's doing fine These are the soybeans. They're perfectly fine. And let's see the eggplant. They're fine. It's the another eggplant. So these are the cake uh, tops. Whenever we buy cake from the grocery stores, they give this as a top, right? These are the ones. Let's see. Um, I have some uh, bush beans here. I used some pots. This is garlic. Garlic will do perfectly fine in winter. It just shouldn't snow, but the rest of the time it does fine. So for uh, okra, I only use this. it had hole also but still it was fine see you just have to make sure the mist doesn't fall on the leaves and here all the they were just under the soil bank they are all perfectly fine and let's see our bed oh my god look at the mist so i shouldn't leave this as is Otherwise, it's going to spoil all the plants because the mist is falling right on the. Um, I mean, the cover is touching the plants, right? You see all the mist. I'm going to remove it right away. I couldn't do it this morning. I should have done it early in the morning. Wow! Look at the water droplets. You see that? These are all doing perfectly fine. The radish plants have got the second leaf. They look so good. Do you know where I got these stones from? So these are like whenever we dig uh, to plant anything, right? Uh, our whole area, like the whole land, is full of these stones. So whenever you dig, you get at least three or four these big stones. So that's how I gathered so many stones. Whenever I planted something in my front yard, I'll have so many stones. Corn plants are doing fine. So these are just a little bent, but they're perfectly fine. So they'll grow fine. And these are the radishes. And do you see how this is carrot? Ah. Uh.
so they look to be fine from outside itself the only catch here is if you put car bags like this when it snows it's a problem because the snow might bring the sheet down and press on the plants and then and it's cold right so they will die so so basically during snow it's risky i haven't tried we don't get that much snow uh, it is a very little snow once a year or so so when snowing it's better to use something that hard like boxes not the bags plastic covers unless they don't touch the plant it's fine uh, we i mean we i'll see next year maybe if it is snows uh, usually it snows way well before we even plant the plant so put the plant so should be fine so this is it i think we are out of danger um, uh it's already may 10th so it shouldn't uh have this low temperatures anymore hopefully we the i can start planting more so that's it um so that you saw that the plants are all doing fine after uh, uh, like the uh, 35 degree uh, weather in the night um so it since it's only for like 3 to 4 hours um and rest of the time it was around 40s 40s and 50s so they are all doing fine some plants i didn't even cover they are also fine But just to check check to see um if they are okay but only tender plants like you know uh, the corn plants or uh, grapes tomatoes okra all those are what i covered and the smaller sprouts uh, so they are all fine um that's it thanks for watching my video if you like the video and um, check out my other playlist um if you like my videos please subscribe and share thank you bye bye